Okay guys, what I'm going to show you here is how to clean a brake caliper with an ultrasonic cleaner. Um, hopefully you can see this here. I've taken the caliper off. I'm going to leave the brake pads hanging loose here. Um, and we're just going to clean this. So what I'm doing initially is I set up the ultrasonic cleaner on a cardboard box here. And I'm going to add some additional, this is just water and a little bit of degreaser. So I poured a little bit of that in. And then literally all I did was unbolt the brake caliper from the uh, swing arm there. So I'm going to submerge this in the water here. Unfortunately, it's a little hard to see. Because there's so much foam in here. And I apologize for the poor lighting. But anyway, put this in here like so. It's pretty foamy. And the caliper is dirty. It's not terribly greasy. But what I'm trying to get here is so you can actually see it once I start it up and can start seeing it getting clean. Uh, you'll see little plumes of dirt coming off the caliper, etc. And I'm, what I want to clean here is the piston inside and the O-rings and everything else on the inside of the caliper back in here. You can see outside on the caliper here, it's a little bit dirty, it's not really bad, but this is more for uh, show and tell than anything else. So I'm going to again submerge the caliper here. And then we'll come back and take a look at this in a while. Let me go ahead and start it up. I'm going to set it for 10 minutes. And I'm just going to turn it on. So you, you'll hear it buzzing. And then if you look on top of the caliper, you can see the dirt starting to come off. You see it looks like smoke appearing. That's the little cavitation bubbles cleaning the dirt out. So we're going to let that run for a little while and clean out the pads. That should get anything off the pads. If we have any contamination, that should get cleaned up. And once it's done, all we got to do is let it air dry. Again, th this isn't uh, grease or oil. Then we can bolt that back up and we're good to go. Um, I'm more likely to use this for the front calipers since they wear more. I don't use the rear very much, but this is a nice little just demonstration of how clean it can get. And we'll take a look at how much dirt is left in the bottom in a little while. Okay, let's let it rock.